Hey, what is up everyone? Tyler Ramsby here back with another video. It has been a while since I made a video and the reason for that, as, as many of you know, I have been studying for the OSCP, but wanted to share with you guys what I've been working on, some of my notes that I've done. Hopefully you find this helpful in your own journey. So I am taking the greatly feared OSCP exam in less than a month. I sit for the exam on December 8th. I'm recording this video on November 13th. So you do the math. I have a few weeks remaining before I sit for that brutal 24 hour exam. Hopefully, hopefully I pass it on my first attempt. This is my first attempt. I really, really hope I pass it. And I've been putting in the work and that's why I haven't been streaming just because I can't stream a lot of their content due to copyright policy. But here, here's what I've been working on. Here's what I have found helpful. I have finished all of the PDF. So when you sign up for the Pen 200 course, you get a PDF as well as an LMS. What I did notice is the LMS is more up to date than the PDF, but I went through all of the course. I did all of the material that is in the course with the exception of the flag exercises. Now you may know this if you take the OSCP, you have the option to get 10 extra points, but to do that, you need to finish all the flag exercises, which are bonus VMs and labs in addition to the regular course, as well as do, I think it's 30 machines in the lab environment. Don't quote me on that. You may have to look that up yourself, but I just got really frustrated with the flag exercises from my perspective. They were really buggy and I just wasn't learning. And my goal is to learn. So I am going to the exam without the 10 bonus points, but I did learn some stuff. There are some solid things in the PDF. There's other things that are outdated, but I did make it all the way through the PDF. The other thing I've been working on is in Hack the Box Academy. So I finished the entire Active Directory enumeration and attacks module, which was Excellent. It was really long, but really detailed. I'll share with you guys my notes from that. I also finished the Linux privilege escalation uh, course through Hack the Box Academy, and I'm just about done with the Windows privilege escalation course. And uh, last week, I purchased a subscription at least for one month, the Proving Grounds Practice. Uh, Proving Grounds Practice are VMs created specifically by offensive security staff. And I noticed on Reddit, it's what people recommend for the standalone machines, and they are really good. Uh, they're not as CTF-y as other platforms, and they have a lot of rabbit holes that you can fall into when you're doing enumeration. And the key, at least that I've noticed on the machines I'm doing, I'm going based off TG Knowles' uh, recommended machines through Proving Grounds Practice, is there's a lot of things that you just have to enumerate really well on. And from what I've heard people say about the exam, that's also true about the exam. So I did about 10 machines or so last week in Proving Grounds practice, and that's probably what I will grind out leading up to my exam. <clears throat> Two things I wanna show you guys, I wanna share my screen. The first thing I wanna show you is just how I take notes. I had a few requests wondering like, Tyler, how do you take notes on the things that you are working on? I'm gonna get OBS pulled up on the side so I can make sure you guys can see it. I might, let me move myself down here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna move myself off the screen just for a second. I just want you guys to be able to see my screen. So you can see my active, or not my active directory stuff, my OneNote, this is where I record all my notes, but I'm creating this hacking guide and uh, some of my notes I can't share with you guys because they come directly from the OSCP type stuff, but nothing in here is copyrighted. So I can share all of this with you, but just showing how I take notes. Right now I have a broken up in Windows, Linux, AD, pivoting and web hacking, as you can see. If you extend like Windows, you can see everything that I have here. I believe this right here is actually from the Try Hack Me module on Windows Privilege Escalation, which is also good. You can look at my Linux as well. So we have all the basic things for Linux. I'll kind of move these up. When I'm done with this, I'll share it out with you. Here's the one I'm really proud of. And these are my Active Directory notes. So this comes directly from the Hack, Hack the Box Academy course. But you can see I have it all broken up from initial enumeration, access control list. If I cl click one of these tabs, I documented note by note how to perform each one of these attacks, how to get it done. I have it in table format so I can copy and paste a lot of it. And I cover, uh, it's a very in-depth course, but I covered everything I possibly could. Took my time going through the course just so I could document everything as well as there's two skill exercises at the end, which I don't have here, which I really enjoy. So once you finish the entire AD course, at the very end, you got two exercises, full AD networks that you have to eventually become domain admin on. And I completed both of those skill networks. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident about the AD part of the exam, as long as I can get my initial foothold. The other thing I documented is 
pivoting. Some of this does come from the OSCP type stuff, so I can't show it. But chisel is what I'm going to use. Chisel is so much better than everything else I found. Chisel works on both Windows and Linux. It works regardless of what ports are open. And I have my notes here, how to set up chisel in essentially three steps. Right, you run it on your Cali Linux machine, you run it on the Windows machine as a victim, you add this to proxy chains, and then you just append everything with proxy chains and you can now pivot from like a, a web app or a web machine into the internal network. I've used this on the skills assessment as well as on the OSCP labs and it has worked fantastic using Chisel. And then my other notes are web hacking. Once again, more in detail than what you really need for the OSCP, but I, my goal is to learn, not just to pass the exam. So these notes are from Port Swigger Academy. I went through their first 10 modules. So I have SQL injection, authentication vulnerabilities, directory traversal, OS command injection, et cetera, et cetera. Once again, documenting step-by-step -step how to perform each attack and then how to prevent it from happening just for my own learning. So as you can see, this is what I've been doing. I've been doing my best to put in work. I am determined to pass this exam. One other thing I wanna share with you guys, and that is Hack the Box Academy. I've gotten a lot of questions about Hack the Box Academy, whether or not it's worth it. And I'll very quickly kind of walk you guys through the AD enumeration and attack course, just because I think it is excellent and really well done. Hack the Box Academy, I believe there's a few different ways you can purchase a course. If you are a student or have a .edu email, you can get a sub to Hack the Box Academy, everything up to tier two, which is a lot of stuff for only $8 a month. If you don't have that, I believe it's around $20 a month or you can pay per course. I believe the AD enumeration and attack course right here is $10 and you are definitely getting like the worth out of the $10. Here's a module summary. We'll kind of walk through this. This is what it covers, foundational AD knowledge, AD enumeration principles, external reconnaissance, internal enumeration of footprinting, lateral movement, enumeration, exploiting trust, password spraying, poisoning, gaining privilege access, using native tools that's living on the land, Kerberos and performing ACL attacks, AD hardening principles, all that stuff. And so if we, I think if I, how do I out view? I'll show you guys what it looks like when you do it. So if we were to start this, what I like personally, and this doesn't work for everyone, but it provides the theory in the beginning. This is kind of where I was taking my notes. So I'll jump to one and I'll give away a flag, but I think hack the box is okay with it. So we look at external recon and enumeration principles. It walks you through what you're looking for. It They actually have a website set up that's like accessible just on the web that you can do some of this enumeration on, tells you how to do it, and then at the end of all of them, there's a VM you can run. I always just use my own Kali Linux VM and download the VPN file, but then there's a, a little module and you need to submit a flag. Once you get the flag there, if I scroll back up through here, you can see uh, they go pretty dang in depth on all of this. I, I felt a lot more, I feel a lot more confident now after doing that course. Same with Windows priv -esque and Linux priv -esque. I also did some stuff on web app hacking through here as well. But Hack the Box Academy really is an incredible platform. That and Try Hack Me, amazing platforms, well worth the price. If you are studying or wanna grow in anything with cybersecurity or ethical hacking or things along those lines, I will jump back to sharing my screen. Huh. So it's been busy. This is what I've been working on. This is what I've been grinding on. Most of my free time is spent to studying and I hope I pass, but even if I don't pass, right? Worst case scenario, I fail in my first attempt. I have learned so much in this journey, especially through Hack the Box Academy and Try Hack Me and labs and talking to other people. I've learned a lot. That was my goal when I started this. I wanted to learn. I want to be a little bit better each day than I was the previous day. And I believe I have accomplished that goal. So exam is coming up. I do not know if I will come out with any more videos leading up to December 8th. These are the final days where I will be studying. But when I take the exam, I will create a video. As soon as I realize I pass or I failed, just sharing my raw emotion, but being very careful not to give anything away on the exam because I don't wanna lose my certification after I earn it or get banned from offsite. But I will create a video sharing my feedback and just my raw emotion, pass or fail, when I come face to face with the final boss, the OSCP. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you found some of my note-taking strategies or the resources I shared helpful. If you are studying for the OSCP, let me know, leave a comment, share with me the resources you have found helpful, and I would love to learn from you as well. 
I will catch you guys next time. The next time might be after taking the test. So I will see you guys shortly. Peace out.